Hello all, welcome to oratrainers.com. In this session, we'll discuss about pivot table logic in RTF template. Okay, so we'll directly get it a sample. So what we do is I have a query which gets the data about the number of lines of GL lines in a particular ledger in a particular year and period. So here I have wantedly hard coded this particular data with the specific ledger names as well as specific years. So let us see the query first of all. So this query. So let's see. We'll just register the data model first. And the logic here is, you know, like I just want to display the data in a like a period-wise fashion. In a for a given year, I want to display in for in a given period, in a given month, in a given year, in a given period, how many lines I have in a particular ledger. That's the logic I want to achieve. So let's see the data first. GU gl lines count so let me save this first custom i prefer to save in my custom folder gl gl period wise count gl j lines period wise count okay GLJ lines period wise count DM. So now I can explain you the query also. So maybe here if you observe what I'm what I have is GLJ headers, nothing but general line headers, general lines, and the ledger data and the periods table. So why I just join the period table because I just I just want to get the year also into consideration while filtering the data. That's the only purpose. And here in the grouping, what I have done is I grouped the data based on the GL name, the period as well as period number. And then based on that, I just got the count. And here I just ordered the data based on the period year as well as period number also. So now let's see the result. So we are getting the data here. If you, if you just see the first record for a France primary ledger in a given year 2019, I have the, for the first period, I have around 598 lines. Similarly, if you see the second line, UK primary ledger 2019, first period, I have 863 lines. Now what we want to do is here it's showing the data of a period data in a column like a row row kind of fashion but I don't want like that. I What I want to do is for a given ledger I just require only one line and it has to show 12 columns and it has to show the respective count for those 12 columns. That's the logic I want to achieve. Okay so let me extract the data nothing but I'll just download this particular XML data and then we'll prepare the template. So export get the XML data and we'll copy into our local folder. Now create the RTF template. I'll open MS Word, new document or blank document. Save the file before doing any logic. GL, GE lines, period wise count, TMPL, RTF template. So Click on VA Publisher, load the sample XML data, and we can now validate the, we can let us see the data also. Let us see the data once. Right, so here if you observe, G is our group, and we have a ledger name, period year, period number, and line count, that's it only just four columns load the XML data check the yeah this is a correct one now so here we have in the BI publisher menu we have an icon called pivot table click on pivot table this is almost similar to the normal Excel feature what you have in the MS you know like a Excel sheet a similar feature here but this is part of our Oracle BI publisher plugin click on pivot table and here left side what we want we want to have a ledger data for a given ledger and for a given period number, what we want, we just want the count. So what are what are we doing for a given ledger, for a given period number, I just want the count. That's it. No changes. And simply click on OK. And we got a auto generated logic. So here one important thing is you cannot apply any logic here. And if you even if you observe the columns, it is very different. You can't even understand what is the syntax behind it for few columns. So 
it's a very complicated logic which Oracle has built. So we does not need to do any logic changes here. Simply select the appropriate columns and generate the layout. That's it. And one more thing is once it is generated, you cannot modify it. So let us say if you observe, if you assume that there is some mistake in the column name you selected or if there is a change in the column name, the only way you have to do is you have to regenerate this pivot table logic again. Click on HTML output and let us see how it looks like. Okay. So we got the primary ledger and we got the parent number on the top and we got the count with respect to primary. And now what I want to do is here, if you observe the parent numbers are not in sorting order and it is showing the total at the row level as well as column level. Okay, so I just don't want any row total or column total as well as I want to sort the data of the, the top period number. What we can do is, so as I said you, once you generate the data, you cannot change anything. I just need to select it and delete it. Click on pivot table and here, Select legend name, period number, GL line count, and here select this one, select the GL period number, and here it says sort number column. So I'll just say ascending number. And here you have an option called total. It is here we have enabled the total true for all the stuff, right? So columns of total, we don't want to, we don't even have columns of total actually, but you can just make it as false. And column total, we don't want to have it, you can make it as false. And row subtotal, we don't want to have it. You can make it as false. And finally, we have one more thing. You can just make it as other one also false. Click on OK. Now, if you observe that there is only one column, there is no subtotal logic which was shown earlier. Click on HTML and let us see how it looks like. Right? It shows the data one, two, three, four, and so and so. That's it. And you can, if at all, if you want to mention here, like a slash period, you can mention. And let's try again, click on HTML. We should see a period, at least a period column or don't mention slash and that's it. Click on HTML or Excel, any other output also should work, but let's try, yeah. And now let's try Excel also. Okay, so far okay. And now what we can do, we can register from the VIP like a, and check it out how it works from the VIP also. Save the data model, click on create report. Click on use report editor, click on finish. GL, GL lines. One minute, got struck. It was struck actually, so I'm just trying if I can reopen another window and try to create it. Yeah, let me try here. This is the one. Okay, I'm able to save. Let's try. Generally, it should not take much time, but uh, could be an instance issue. So that's why it's not behaving properly. It happens, so just need to wait. Or else maybe you can try the new tab and just do it. Let me try finally once more or else we can leave it. Ideally it has to work the same way like um, what the sum like uh, what are the functionality which is working local system. Mostly it works from the fusion instance also generally you'll not face any issue but uh, there are very rare cases you may have issue. So now what we have done is like, uh, I'm just excluding the option of registration. So within the BI publisher, whatever, why are we choosing BI, like a pivot is like, um, 
we want to generate columns dynamically. So there are a number of other approaches which are available, but this is one of the very easier approach. So using pivot table, you can display the data only the numeric fashion here, whatever you have it right. The combination of your row and column, and you can display that specific cell in a I mean that specific cell, which is a, like which is a numeric one. That's how generally it works, right? Even the pivot table in the what do you call in the Excel sheet, all the same approach. So here, what are we doing is like uh, we have a primary ledger, and for a given ledger, I have a period year and I have a period number, and I have a lines. So I just want to display those particular set of things in a column fashion. So that's the reason I have chosen the pivot table logic in the Fusion BIP. Okay, this is all about the pivot table feature in Fusion, like a feature in Oracle BIP. You can just try it out. Thank you.